Hello everybody, welcome into the channel. I'm your host Josh AA4WX. Hey, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. It certainly helps uh, the channel and also hit the notification bell. That way you get notifications anytime I go live or uh, post a video. This morning or today, whichever time you're watching this, uh, I've been handed some news that is a little disturbing and uh, want to discuss this with you. Um, apparently... Uh, there's some rumblings that the FCC is going to impose a repeater tax. Let's uh, let's take a look at um, this story. Give me just a second to get it shared here. There we go. All right, this is from a website called The Dipole. Um, don't know, again, how valid the information is. Never heard of this website. Um, this is the only place I've found any information about this. Uh, but this was posted on October the 18th, 2024. It says, in a, uh, in a move certain to cause controversy in the, in the United States amateur radio community, the FCC has proposed a new repeater tax to free up radio spectrum. The Dipole reached out to Jessica Rosenworcel, chairwoman of the FCC Board of Directors, who confirmed the proposal before the board is to eliminate spectrum squatting by repeaters that have little to no use. Rosenworcel told the Dipole, it is thought that a tax on repeaters will eliminate as many as 90% of amateur radio repeater systems, which have been underused for years, freeing up the radio spectrum for newer amateur radio operators to use the allocations uh, for newer modes of operation. She went on to state, if the spectrum is not used after this change, then we may consider selling it off to the industry. Um, we don't think uh, it is so much as a tax than a license fee. However, as the repeaters are already licensed, it would have to be a tax by law. Goes on to say, furious efforts uh, are expected by the AWRL to oppose these changes. We will lobby extremely hard to keep things exactly as they are, status quo, with cold repeaters and dead air, said uh, AWRL President Rick Roderick, who when reached out for comment. Roderick also stated that if the United States employs this tax on repeaters, then other nations like Canada are certain to follow. Tax rates have not been yet determined and will not be until the public consultation period has ended June 15th, 2025. However, an unnamed source has told the Dipole, let me get this out of the way here, sorry about that. Uh, an unnamed source has told the Dipole that suggested amounts could be in the range of $500 to $800 per year. This is based off a of reporting from the FCC, Washington, D.C., Scott, Victor, Alpha, 7, Sierra Lima. Whew, a lot to digest on that. So, do we have a spectrum issue? Absolutely, we have a spectrum issue. There's no question about that. Uh, I know areas like here, where I am in East Tennessee, we have um, numerous repeaters that uh, are not being used, that are silent all the time. And that's not due to a lack on the repeater, on the repeater owners. That is due to a lack from the community. Not enough amateur radio operators using these repeaters. I have heard numerous, numerous hands say that two meters is dead in the area, in their area. Not just here, but nationwide. And with my YouTube channel and my HF activities, I talk to people all over the country. Uh, so it is unfortunate, but um, I do see where the where the FCC is coming from. Do we tax it though? That's the challenge. That's the challenge. Um, you also get into consideration of uh, your repeater associations, such as here in the southeast, we have the we have SARA, the Southeastern Repeater Association. Where does that come into play? So there are a lot of there are a lot of challenges and a lot of questions about this, and we don't have all the answers yet. So uh, time will tell. Uh, we'll just have to see how things go. Hey, get in the comments and let me know what you think about this. Uh, this could very seriously change the uh, the landscape of amateur radio. I'd like to shout out a couple of repeater owners that I know personally. Uh, WB4GBI, Tim Berry, and uh, W4KEV, Kevin DePlantis. 
Uh, they are the majority repeater owners in uh, my general area. And um, if this comes to fruition with the amounts that were said in the article, what did it say? 500 to 800 dollars a year some of these guys own up to 20 repeaters and that's just talking about it's just talking about ham radio it's not talking about any commercial band stuff so you could be talking or you are talking thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in regulatory fees that'll put even smart and competent repeater owners uh down so let me know in the comments what you think about this um, and if you've heard anything else about this, I'd like to know guys, I appreciate you watching, uh, down below in the uh, description, you'll see multiple ways to, uh, to support the channel. If you like the content I'm doing, uh, if you need to get your ham radio license, uh, use ham radio prep, hamradioprep.com and coupon code a, a or excuse me, coupon code ham shack TV will give you a extra 10% off. their already amazing deals. They have a great technician program. Uh, will help you get your technician license, have all the knowledge that you need in order to pull that off. Uh, also, uh, they have general class license uh, courses. They have extra class. They have HF master class. They have MCOM. They have Balfang basics. Whatever you need, check out Ham Radio Prep coupon code HAMSHACK TV for extra 10% off. Um, thanks for watching. Appreciate you being here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell and share this video out. We need as many people talking about this as we can. If you don't want this repeater tax to happen, share this video out. Seven threes. This is AA4WX WSCB 693.